Well, hello there, stranger. It's been a while. Welcome, you faces, to part of a day and part of a dawn. That said, as the wind is about to bust out your ears, sorry about that, I'm getting blown away. As I hunker down, isolated in my house, um, spoiler alert, in the next... That was a Trump, oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just watched that clip back and it just happened to be funny that I was talking about the wind and then I passed wind. I'm going insane. But anyway, let me try and get back on topic here. Um, as you guys know, uh, I'm being hunkered down here in the house with self-isolation. Spoiler alert, in the vlog that's coming up without me trumping, uh, sorry about that, and if you don't know what a trump is around the world, it's a flatulent fart of the butt cheeks. Anyway, again, going crazy. Um, I do actually leave the house and I get to go out in my car. Oh yeah, essential travel trip was needed, but I didn't film it in this portion of this vlog, so you're gonna have to deal with whatever this is because I've, I've filmed over the course of the past week for your faces and just thrown it together. As you guys know, I've kind of switched from doing daily vlogging and forcing myself to wake up every day being like, I must do something and kind of like just doing myself like no mental good of forcing myself to do things when I've got nothing to do. Yes, I could throw a ball through the hoop a few times a day, and yeah, you'll kind of see some footage of that next week or whenever the next video is, and just by the way. Um, I want to put out vlogs as often as I can, as long as I've got footage to actually share with you guys, but I'm not forcing content for any other reason. It's something that I don't like doing and I never will like doing, and I think you, you, got, you guys understand that who've been watching me a long time. So if you are new around here and you've subscribed for daily content or, you know, like daily car content or this kind of content, whatever, travel content, you just need to know that with everything being upside in the upside down in the world right now, my life and my job's upside down in the world right now. So I've kind of switched up from being a daily vlogger to a every kind of whenever I feel like it vlogger and um, a daily live streamer. So that's that. Um, I know a lot of people will be like, no, Tom, we'd like to, you know, watch you do whatever around your house, being an idiot, throwing hoops, trumping on camera, replay, spoiler alert, in the next, and all that good stuff. And I do really appreciate it. But like I said, I don't want to be waking up every day being like, oh my God, I've got nothing to do. And having that like mental strain of like, you know, almost like a panic in the back of my head of like, I've got nothing to do. What am I going to do? Like worrying about the video. But instead I've been like getting up. I've been really enjoying my days. Like whether I'm sad, just, you know, chilling, relaxing, eating like some food in the sun, even though I don't look like it. But I've just been able to like switch off and then on a daily basis, like wake up, have my breakfast, do a, like a morning live stream, jump off my lunch, jump back on for like the evening stream. Um, and I've started a new Minecraft series, which so many people have been enjoying. So, you know, if you've ever been into video games or just like streaming in general or want to watch Minecraft or anything like that, I will be live every day except Sundays at twitch.tv forward slash syndicate, which, you know, this entire video you're about to watch is me just talking about Twitch and streaming and the insanity of what we achieved in this video and it'll lead on to a bit of a charity thing. So I'm gonna need your guys' help and attention when that rolls around, but I just want to do a bit of a, a, a dialogue to the vlog of it being all over the place, but I'm switching from daily vlogging to daily live streaming except Sundays, because you still know that's my day off, and just filming vlog content whenever I feel like putting it together. And that means when, hi horse, um, that just means when I actually do something, I'll film it and then share it with you guys. So yeah. Hope we're all okay. Hope you're doing okay in isolation. I'm wishing you and your families all the best. If you happen to be a like a key worker, like you know, a fr fr frontline worker, that's the one I'm looking for. Go you. Appreciate you. You smart. You loyal. Stay safe. Stay stay safe. Still stay healthy. Oh, why am I saying hey? Why, why am I saying still healthy? <laughs> stay safe. Still still take three. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I wish you all the best. I will be doing a charity live stream soon and I hope to raise as much money as possible. Um, I've got to work out which charity to pick, so that's going to be difficult. But um, yes, we will be doing it. So stay tuned. And without further ado, enjoy the randomness that was my week. It's been 58 years. I have no idea what day of the week it is. But what I do know is I finally have something I can vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't go out in the car, but we can change a license plate. That is right, the brand new ownership deeds, title, and whatever you call it. Just came through yesterday for me to be able to put my brand new plates on to the actual car. Now, I say these are my brand new plates, but I do need to get them changed already because I want to get plates that go into the Mercedes uh, that are non-branded at all. So if we just whip this off, as you can see, this has got this on the bottom of it as a bit of branding. And I don't want it. I want it to look clean fresh and without it. However, it is illegal for somewhere to sell them uh, at like a proper car garage or something like that, unless you buy them online, uh, with this not on it. So um, yes, I'm gonna have to work out a way to get some plates without it, but nonetheless, they're going on. 
Now, if you're new around here and you're wondering, Tom, why X333 TGC? Well, all I can say is we have X111 TGC, X triple OK. Try that one again. X111 TGC, X222 TGC. So why not X333? Now, I miss this bad boy so much. All I want to do is go driving around in it, but we cannot do it because we are still in isolation. And if you have actually genuinely been wondering, like, Tom, where have you been? Like, why have you not been vlogging? Well, the simple answer is, like I said, if I'm not really doing anything and I'm just streaming all day, then I'm just going to do that and not post a vlog. As much as I'd love to be daily vlogging and taking my days off on Sundays, there's just nothing to do. Like, I've, I've literally, to the extent of in my house, pushed it to its fullest over the four years of doing the, oh, what can I do today? I've got nothing to do in the house. So because of that, I'm just deciding to not post vlogs when I've not got anything going on. Whereas if we have something so much fun and exciting, like this, for example, then we'll do it which i know is not the exact most exciting thing in the world but hey we're gonna try and do this which leads me to the question again of what are these red dots i when i last went on that drive and filmed it i've got these red dots absolutely scattered all over the front of the car but let's just stay focused i genuinely have no idea how to take that license plate off you don't slide it in at the side so um the struggle's real right now i'll i'll, I'll try and do it hmm well this bit um Flicked out and disconnected, so I'm assuming it either just slides out now, uh, like this, or something other. Do I just plonk it in? Oh, okay, we're gonna go with it. Thank you. Oh, it's a metal plate. Oh. Oh no. Don't say this needs to be a metal plate for it to be able to bend in. Oh dear. Um. Um. It didn't. It didn't need to, but yeah, I've not got the final edge back on, but. There is the new plate. I do like this one, though. Nice piece of metal rather than a bit of plastic, but I'm going to try and put this back on, and we should be sorted. As far as I'm aware, <laughs> that is now on. Which, you know what? I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't like the look of the, uh, like, it being X333, but you know what? Yeah, that looks clean. I talked about it on my live streams and everyone was like, oh, Tom, you should put the X triple one on this because it just looked cleaner. It's, you know, just a nicer plate. But it's one of those, like, to, to people driving past, I don't need it to make sense to them or anything like that. But for me, this is my third car. Oh, what are you doing? Why well, have you been drinking on the job again? This is my third car. So because I've got the, def what would have made sense, right, is if I put X triple one on this, I got rid of the TT. And then my Defender, I had X triple four because it's a four by four. I thought that one made sense, but I don't know. I'm a man of simplicity. X triple one, X triple two, X triple three. Right, now I don't want to break this. So, <laughs> I didn't break it, don't worry. Just clicked out, then pull that bad boy out. Oh, well, once you've done it, once you've done it a million times, apparently. And I'll slide this one in. Yep. Yep. We're in. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. I'll be back after technical difficulties. And it is the end of an era for C17 PKA. Everyone kept saying it's like painkiller already from the podcast, but nope. X triple C. C? X triple three TGC. X triple three Thomas George Cassell. Now you know. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my exciting day coming to an end. Literally. I can't, I can't really do anything. I can't even install the new TV in the bedroom because I. I physically cannot lift it myself. I don't need to go out from a weekly shop yet because I've still got food in my fridge. And yeah, I could be like, oh, there's a few snacks or something I'd like to nibble on, but there's no point in me doing that because the whole point of us staying indoors is, you know, the whole self-isolation thing. But to try and ease up on the supermarkets because my Morrisons near me has got um, a queue going all the way around the corner to like the nearby KFC, which if you have ever been to like Hyde and know where the Morrisons and the KFC is, they're not exactly the closest things together. Um, so that's a pretty goddamn big line. So I'm doing my bit to just like not going to add to the chaos when it's like oh i could do with an extra chocolate bar but do i need it no when i run out of food that's when i'll go but go on then let's get a started up and roller from a whopping there to there and back it's like my own little drag strip of naught to five in zero feet oh my boy my boy maximus emilius i have missed you so much mate how you doing don't flash at me like that don't flash Six thousand eight hundred and seven miles we should have had that on 10,000. Look how, look, how, look how close I am to 1,000 miles since I've owned it. But right, Maximus, let's hear you warm up, mate. Come on. Are you still alive? Oh, he is. What a beauty. I've missed you.
Now, as I just let him warm up, please ignore the hair. I just, listen, because I can't go and see my barber, Scott, my hair, it's on a bit of a mad thing, an absolute mad thing. But there's something I just want to address real quick. Everyone in my comments keeps being like, oh, Tom, you know, you're only supposed to buy essential items and only certain amounts of it. Well, can I just explain something? My granddad, in no way, shape or form, needs this many butters, okay? So when everyone saw my fridge and kept being like, Tom, all that butter, stop hoarding things. I have not even touched it because it's not my butter, okay? So thank you, you cranks, but that is not my butter um, and I didn't buy it, so... You can calm down and, and, and blame granddad, okay? That's all I'm saying. And you might be like, Tom, why, why have you got the butter then? Now listen, if I left it with my granddad, I don't know if anyone else's granddad does this, but he would literally just stick a knife in it and eat it. It's weird. You take him to a restaurant and you know them little squares of butter that they leave on the side, or you know sugar cubes, just starts spooning it up, all the sugar, just starts eating it away. And it's like, eh? I don't get it. Yeah, it really doesn't help that he's diabetic either, but you know, we tell him no, and then he's like, he's like a little horse, he's like, oh, found some sugar, and just starts nomming away, and we're like, Grandad! Just doesn't listen. Oh, oh, my beauty. How are you doing in there? You okay? You okay? Oh, steam it. Sorry about that. Hmm, comfort mode, cute, sport plus mode. Oh, that's a growl I like. Now something I'd like to do, whilst I've got all the plates now on the cars, is do like a big lineup of the photos and everything. And this leads me to the question of, Tom, can you get the car down around the back and take a dope photo of them? And the answer is, I'm not even going to try. We've tried to get Audi R8s down there, Jaguar F-Type SVRs down there, and it's always scraped the bottom of the car. So when you look at something as low as this thing right now, looking all beautiful, looking hella low, I can tell you right now, it won't make it down, so I'm not even trying it. And th this is this is what I'm limited to, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is the amount of fun I get to have in the car. smoked it not to i didn't actually put my foot down by the way in no way shape or form i was going to do that but i was just rolling it because everyone's been telling me to uh, make sure i move the car periodically so i don't get bald spots on my tire which this tire is looking like it's already bald at the moment but it's actually it's still legal apparently i asked a family friend but good night you beautiful prince what, what the hell what are you, flies what are you doing like, look, i told you it's like a fly of all that horsepower look at all the flies you know like the films you see the flies just on the horse's eyes look get off them why is there so many flies? Like, it's literally like a horse. Look, it's going to close its eyes, like, flapping them away. Get off me, flies, you Get off me. But there we go. There's Tom's uh, da daily driver. Whee. I think I'm just going to go inside now and eat as much food as possible so I can go to the shops. Because, like, they've been legitimately, the police, pulling people over. And someone, I think someone got, like, a £650 fine I was reading on Sky News. Uh, because this woman went out for a drive in a car and then refused to tell the police officers like where she was where she was going or anything like that. And I think it's completely fair and understandable if you're driving to the stores, you know, going buying food and stuff like that. And exactly like I said, you're not supposed to be like out and about because say if you get into a crash, you crash your car, needs an ambulance there, all that sort of stuff. You're wasting paramedics' time where the paramedics could be, is that an American term? Yeah, it is. Where they can be you know, like helping like people in the, in the hospitals with the coronavirus situation. So I completely get it. I get it. I follow the rules, but... I just want to go for a drive. I'm not going stir crazy. I've not started playing chess by myself yet. Just throwing it out there. I've just been keeping myself busy streaming on Twitch. Like, I've been absolutely loving it. I've been playing loads of Call of Duty. I got back into playing Minecraft. We've hit crazy milestones. 7,387 subscribers on Twitch, which is just a crazy number. And then, in this new Minecraft series that I started on my main channel, which is called Isolation Island. Isolation Island. Look who joined! 
Captain Sparkles. No joke. This video is going up. If you're if you're watching this, I have, this has probably been up for ages. But yeah, Captain Sparkles joined my island yesterday. So I've been streaming this for like two hours a day, sort of thing, just doing my thing. And yes, my hair is still an absolute mess. But whilst I've been like li living on my island, doing my thing, uh, Mr. Captain Sparkle, you know, uh, came to visit me. So that was lovely. <sighs> right, I'm getting live rock and roll in with some Call of Duty Warzone. Actually, I'll play some multiplayer for a bit. I need to get my ribbons done. But everyone's saying hello to the vlogs right here. So hello to your faces. Someone in the chat just asked me, Tom, how's your finger? Um, it, you know what? It's okay. It was smelly. And you might be like, wait, why was your finger smelly? I had a plaster on for a full, like, 24 hours. And I couldn't, like, wash underneath it because I was waiting for it to heal. And I took the plaster off. And I'm going to... Warning, next five seconds, don't watch the video because this is what my finger looked like. Anyone else think my finger's infected where Steve bit me? Lul. Of which, for some reason, my next step was smell the finger. And the finger smelt like rotten flesh. I know, disgusting. Well, that is how you go to end a stream. We've just raided Tucker and we passed everyone over there. I told everyone to spam my emotes in the chat. Um, and we all we all got banned, so that was good. But a massive shout out to all the stream viewers because we hit 8,215 subscribers on a 674 sub train. That is mental. Thank you so much for the support, bunch of legends. This is just too brilliant for me to wake up to. Sebi, <laughs> one of the most amazing like people I know, said that if he hit a certain milestone, he'd shave his hair off. <laughs> And lo and behold, is hit said milestone. Can we just pay attention to what he looked like before it with his hair? Wait, has he got... Has he, yeah, look, like sleek, fresh-looking hair. And if I skip towards the end... <laughs> I was going to say he's grown it! Wait, where is he? Where's his hair? <laughs> oh, my God, Sebastian! <laughs> that, that is brilliant. A virtual sunset. My chat saying hello to the vlog because we've just hit 9,343 subscribers, which is crazy. The real life sunset is looking absolutely gorgeous in the distance. Look at that. But anyway, back to video games. Whoa, look at that. Mate, that is a night sky. Holy crap. Minecraft live stream is coming to an end right now. It's one of those kind of gutted because the hype is still so real. Everyone, everyone's like, the vlog, I was here. I was here. The hype is still going because somehow or another, we managed to set a subscriber train of 1,127 and a total of 9,559. Oh my absolute God. Everyone's just going crazy right now. <laughs> if you were in the live stream, honestly, thank you so much for the love and support and the hype. I, I, part of me is like, oh, I wish I was streaming tomorrow, but Sunday's my day off. I've just got to do it because it's like, it, it's so easy for me to just stream all day, every day and constantly be at it, constantly be at it. But if I take these breaks, it makes it fun, it makes it fresh, and then therefore it makes the content better for you guys. So if you were in the live stream, thank you so much. AK, Asterix, KK, everyone, all the hype people donating and subscribing to the stream. I appreciate it. You're a bunch of legends. A day of being a manly man. Now you might think I'm building something with that drill, but no, I'm doing all the like, the yard work, like hoovering up with, well, hoovering up, I'm suck, I'm sucking things up. And I was, I was like, oh, this drain looks a little bit full. I uh, decided to start clearing it out and yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a, yeah, look at that. There's a worm chilling in there. Go on the boy. But yes, this is Tom being a handyman for the day. Probably should have put these on first, but you know. Um, was the drain blocked? Yeah, most likely if all that just managed to come out of there and there you go, Builders Floor 101, it, even though it's kind of not a floor because it's doing its job, um, that actually doesn't come out for you to actually be able to like remove it properly and clean it out. So, hmm, I tried turning it as well, but it just doesn't turn. So I don't really know what to say. The biggest thing I need to do on this job, on, the, on this job with this house, is get onto the roofs and not just take them down, but get onto the roof on this and take down all the moss from the tiles. I used to do it with my dad on people's jobs where you climb up and I'd clean with like a, a trowel all the moss off the sides. Like you don't need to wash them off necessarily. Like you can put some on it that can get rid of it. And you can even put um, actual spray on it that'll get rid of it, but you still got to move it off. So I might as well just go up there with that, some sort of trowel and just scrape it all off. But what? You know what? This is working a treat. Look, this is what it looks like before and then after. And instead, I'm just brushing it off and because it's so dry and brittle because of the weather, it's just coming off. Great success. That's like a before of what the roof looks like. 
and then an after. Look how much better it is, man. It's hard work, but I tell you what, I found the perfect tool for the job. This honestly might be one of the most satisfying like chores I've ever done. It's a bit hard to do it with my left hand, which I don't use, but, oh, look at it. It just comes straight off. Look, disgusting. Brand new. Half an hour later, I've done the whole roof and it looks good. But now I've got my next task. On another day, I'm gonna to have to do this side, but then I'm gonna to have to do the actual roof as well, because that looks just like that. But look at all that moss on there compared to on here. Nothing. Looks so good. Also, uh, I now have the task of because of all this dirt, some of it has gone on the ground, but most of it obviously went skimming down into the gutter. So I'm gonna to have to clean that out. By the looks of things, that actually looks blocked as well. So another job for the list of things to do. Okay, everything's definitely better with two hands whilst I'm up here, but I've managed to find a way to get it out with this broom. Look at that, man. That roof looks like new. Not so much uh, down here. <sighs> Thank you, Black & Decker. Job made easy. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, that is a job well done. And there's nothing like a walk at the end of a day to see the sunset. Don't worry, no one in sight. But look at you. Oh my God, what are you? You're beautiful. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at that. That cannot be all it's like. Oh, sorry, Dad. Listen, I was just saying hello. Touch it, I promise. Oh, you want the touches instead, do you? Hello. You're beautiful as well. Not as cute, but you're beautiful. Unless you've got another one inside you and you're actually the mum. Hello. Don't worry, I've washed my hands. Oh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you so close? Why are you so close to it? You okay? <laughs> you're like the perfect thing I need to smile at right now in the world. You are gorgeous. Wow. Hello. Hello. Oh, you are so soft. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> It was a beautiful day yesterday, as well as it is a beautiful day today. So I thought, you know what? I'll put out my cushions, let them dry off in the sun, and it rained. So, <laughs> great success. So, wet cushions aside, I need to complete my challenges on Call of Duty today. But we are almost on 10,000 subscribers on Twitch, which I said, as you can see over here, 9,740. I said that at 10K, I'd potentially shave my head. But I came up with a better idea because... I kind of don't want to go bald, is if we hit 10K, should I shave it blue and for the NHS and then do a charity live stream? Okay. Or do I shave it? So we did a vote and this was the outcome. 556 people voted blue and the rest voted shave it and everyone's saying hello. So apparently at 10K, I've got to dye my hair blue. I think we've just decided. So I dye my hair blue at 10K, and then we do a charity fundraising day of live streaming, and on the live stream, if I hit a certain milestone, enough money, I shave my hair. So it's like dyeing my hair blue to then remove it blue, but it's like the best of both worlds. I think that might be a good idea, and I think we could raise a lot of money. You know how I was like, oh yeah, we'll um, continue to dry the pillows off today. Well, uh, looks like that isn't gonna be happening, seeing as though it's absolutely pissing it down outside. Great success. Not only am I having a great day because I'm playing with Jack Frags, but we have just hit the insane milestone of 10,000 subscribers on the Twitch channel, which is unbelievable. Which does mean I also need to now work out how I'm going to dye my hair blue and then get organized in a charity live stream. And all proceeds raised donated to charity as well as a donation from myself. I'm saying that right now. It needs to be done. But more than anything, a massive thank you to every... Let me put it into subscriber-only mode. A massive thank you to every single person here who's a subscriber, whether they've subscribed, they've been gifted subscribers, Genki, everyone's uh, Salem. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Absolutely top-notch. Thank you. Unbelievably. All right. Don't even know where I filmed the last clip because Orion is a magical wizard and he will do explosions here and explosions there and just put something or other together. And hey, look at this. My hair's actually growing in to be able to spike it rather than wearing a hat for the entire past week, which I've been doing, which doesn't really matter because once I dye my hair blue, 
I'll look like an idiot and want to cover it up with a hat. But then if we do raise enough money, depending on how much the amount is, I'm going to have to shit. Excuse me. I'm going to have to shave it all off. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Orion, can you make me a brief fire? <laughs> Didn't know if you even managed to do that. But, yeah, you've got a bit of a gassy belly there. As well as the fire at the start of the video. Roll the clip. Spoiler alert. In the next... <sighs> I know. Great content around here. Great content. But, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy, like, a random peek into what my vlog life has been like for the past week. But, yeah, literally. Inside this office. Passing the time. Like, literally, I streamed for 10 hours the other day. And it felt like 10 minutes went by like that. And uh, I, loved, I loved absolutely every minute of it because I was entertaining myself, playing video games, entertaining you guys, and talking to you guys. And that's the main thing as to why I got into doing YouTube. So I'm going to go because I need to do a Minecraft live stream. If you want to tune in, twitch.tv for slash syndicate. Link's in the description. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you later. It's adios.